The voodoo just continues, guys. It's a wrap. That's right. That is. Oh, voodoo continued last night. And it was simultaneous voodoo. Do you have your blood necklace on? Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know David sacrificed the chicken? Unbelievable. Last night. I thought I saw the bucket, that KFC bucket. You there. could you could sync up two televisions. Riley Green as he's hitting a home run to take the lead. The twins are twinning and spitting the bit again. Mm-hmm. And then the twins get the lead, proceed to pitch a guy I've never heard of, leave him out there to die, and as the game closes, they were putting a chalk outline around him on the mound <laughs> in extras. And, again, you don't have to figure it out. Um, that, that, that That is the one thing is, like, people get very annoying that are, like, trying to figure it out or or playing pretend. No, I'm, I'm going to keep it classy today. But – you have a question. No, I'm going to keep it classy. We got what we got. No, no, no. There's one guy uh, claiming he knew this was going to happen, but I'm not going to go there. I'll just tell you, here is the rarity. Here's the gravity this run has reached. You can do with this what you want. What you can't do is say you expected it. Because I, I ain't here for that. I <laughs> will. <laughs> Tigers, 55 and 63 on August 10th. Okay? 55 and 63, August 10th. There has been only one team in the history of Major League Baseball over 120 years, the history of Major League Baseball, who has made the playoffs being at least eight games under on August 10th. The 1973 Mets. Oh. If you make it, you will be the second team in the history of the oldest professional sport in this country to do it. It's reached that level. It's you just go with it. it we joked yesterday. They assassinated the little Caesars mascot, yeah. hung him upside down, drained his blood, put the necklaces on. You just go with it. And what's happening today? Same deal. Okay. The, tw- the, the This is my thing, though, Rico. The fan graphs, we started talking about it over two weeks ago, that I didn't believe what fan graphs was saying mathematically because it doesn't factor in the human element. The Minnesota Twins are dead. Mm -hmm. Look at them out there. They have less excitement to be out there than we have to be here. They don't put the choke element in there. And that's what it is. You're right. It's, it's, It's just numbers. You put it in the computer, and the computer tells you, well, it has to be this. But the human element says, no, this team is choking. This team is playing bad. This team no longer believes in itself anymore. And that's what we see. And that's why I was just like, I don't care about the I also don't think Fangraphs factors in that Minnesota's manager, Rocco Baldelli, IQ might be like 46, maybe 10. So here's the question. Rico's question. Please, delight the masses. Well, knowing the context of what we're in, that's the only reason I gave the power stat. Right. Now... Rico, who, by the way, is in athleisure wear today. I mean, a very (laughs) Rico, real freedom of movement today for Rico. Should be a very exciting show. Go ahead. (laughs) Athleisure. (laughs) I will simply say this. Athleco. It's it's voodoo. (laughs) It's voodoo. Everything is happening right now. My question for Tigers fans is this. If for some reason they do not make the playoffs, Was it worth the ride? Was it worth everything that you are going and experiencing right now? Would you be angry? Would you, or is it house money? And you just say, you know what? I'm good with this. It was fun because we got meaningful games in September. How long have you been saying that? Or are you just one of those people that kind of how Kenny was? I don't want to be hurt. Just go ahead and die. Die in August and we can move on to football. 248-539-9797. 248-539-9797. Hell yes, it's worth it. One team in history has ever done it. The fact that you're in the conversation to be number two when you were basically a rancid corpse for most of the year and you sold at the deadline. Uh, yeah, and you're doing it with a bunch of people who largely won't be here or who have no pedigree. Right. I mean, let's be real about it. Yeah, you've got your core on offense, and you've got Scooble, and if you want to add Montero, but, like, the run has been built around 
Oh, you know, Stevie Salmon. He's like, who? Uh, look, for me, yes, across the board, yeah. it's worth it because it's September baseball. And although, unlike the television broadcast, I'm not breathing deeply into the television, uh, panting like Mel Gibson. Personal growth. I just, for me, yeah, it's it, it, absolutely worth it because what did they give us all summer? Stu Gatz. Right. Hell yes, man. I look at this. If you think about it, this is the third time in three years the city of Detroit's gone through this. You went through it with the Lions, with a bunch of guys. At the time, we weren't chanting Jared Goff's name. They were one in six. They had a chance to make the playoffs. Everything had to fall their way. They fell short. They built upon that. Last year, in real time, we watched the Wings not make the playoffs, but went, sorry, Kenny, went down to the last game. You're hoping they build upon this. To me, absolutely this is worth the ride because we got to see what the course is probably going to be. You know what pieces that you need to add, and you get to jumpstart into next year. Anything that they do, it's house money. I'm cool with this because I, I wasn't expecting this. Mike, you gave that number. I, had, I didn't think they had any shot at this. I'm hoping, can you at least get to 500? That was the goal. And now you're playing some of your best baseball while everybody in front of you is just falling down left and right. So I absolutely think it's worth the ride. I don't care. I want them to make it. I guess my question to the people would be if it's not worth it, why watch sports? Well, yeah, some it's like – not to pick on Kenny, but a lot of people just don't want the hurt. It's like, yeah, but that's I, different. We were the twins of hockey. That's different. I think it's way different losing from ahead than being uh, the one on the chase. The gotcha. chase mitigates the expectation. It's more hope. When you're ahead, like when the wings were nine points clear, right. or when the twins are sitting there and it's August 10th and the Tigers have a .01% chance of the playoffs. Riga, that that's just me. No, no. I'd much rather be in this position. Nobody believes in us. Who cares? Rock and roll. Right. Because that's how I see it. Because to me, this is everything that we want. Now you can build upon this. Now you see what you have. Man, go out there, lock up, turn Fetter into your Ben Johnson, and make sure he never leaves this organization. Because I think that's his equivalent right now. But yeah. Tigers fans out there, they don't make the playoffs. And let's hope that they do. But if they don't, was it worth the ride? 248-539-9797. I'm not going to derail your topic because it's so excellent and it's well set up. But uh, I'm going to talk to you about something during the break that ESPN just did that makes me want to smash a chair. That's all. Oh. So just a, just off here. You know what? Take this chair. I don't like it. That's okay. It's just a side issue of kind of like, as, as you can like that, to can, say, can that network go out of business already? We're here to six. I, I know. I know. Too bad Nick Marsh isn't. 248 539 9797. More on that later because my vibes are ruined for Saturday night.